Grain to glass is, is really what we're, we're most excited about with the brewery. I mean, the brewery itself is, is, a, is a great place. We, we've got a great location here in Enid. Uh, we think we've got a, a, a great product as well. Uh, but there's a lot more to it. We, we actually think we're one of the, the few, if not the only brewery in the country that truly has a grain to glass concept, where the majority of all of our grains used in, in our product are uh, locally produced. And when I say locally pr produced, I don't just mean in the state of Oklahoma, you know, in, in, in a certain radius, I'm talking about literally in Garfield and Alfalfa counties. Uh, these are the two most important ingredients um, in, in the craft beer industry, and so we were excited to be able to, uh, you know, use this part of Oklahoma and, and being the grain belt um, in our soils and weather that are really catered to growing wheat and barley to be able to, to build this concept. Uh, it starts all the way at the seed. We plant it, take care of it, of course, uh, harvested. Uh, from there, we're actually right now working with a, a toll malter. So we um, send that off to be malted and then basically that product comes back to us in bags uh, that we use in our production here at Enid Brewing Company and also supply to, uh, right now, about 14 breweries across the state of Oklahoma, uh, working on some in Kansas, Arkansas, uh, and we also supply to a few uh, distilleries in the state. We are in the wheat belt. Uh, guys doing grain only or dual purpose with cattle. Um, nobody does it like we do that here. It's been in my blood and in our family for many years, uh, and it is obviously in this entire community. So uh, we're very excited to be able to, to take this product that farmers know, take a variety specifically that farmers are growing, uh, and be able to put it in a product here that, that everybody can enjoy. One of the things that have been most exciting for me through this whole process is to be able to take something that I've grown up with and, and I'm doing now, uh, and obviously farmers in this area are doing, and being able to, to bring it into a product that people can, can taste.